go unmute it. Now we're unmuted right away. So let me just tell you, because most people just don't understand the game. And I'm going to tell you, not a game, not when it comes to understanding who we are as individuals. It's not a game. However, it is our reality. And for our reality in 2021, it is our obligation to do what? To ensure access for all children. Here is the Secretary of Education's you know, final, final conversation. And this is just two pages and I think we can read it. We'll select all. Select all. No, oh, first we had to get in there. Now select all. And then we can start reading it. So I can walk away for a minute. My mother's coughing. Start speaking. There we go. Dear Commissioner XXXXX, the Secretary of EDUCATIO and Washington, District of Columbia 20202, January XX 2021. Thank you for all you continue to do to address the needs of students and families during the COVID 19 pandemic. Your efforts have been critical to ensuring that learning continues for all students as your state faces unprecedented education challenges. As you know, the U.S. Department of Education awarded more than $13 billion last spring in assistance to elementary and secondary schools through the Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief ESSER, fund authorized by the Coronavirus Aid, Recovery, and Economic Security CARES Act. On December 27, 2020, President Trump signed into law the Coronavirus Response and Relief Supplemental Appropriations Act, 2021, Public Law 116-260, which provides an additional $54.3 billion for an ESSER, the second fund. Today, the department is announcing an additional dollar XX, XXX, XXX and ESSER, the second funds to state. This new funding, more than four times the initial awards to state educational agencies under the CARES Act, is intended to help states and school districts safely reopen schools, measure and effectively address significant learning loss, and take other actions to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 on the students and families who depend on our K-12 schools. Consistent with congressional intent to provide new funding quickly and with minimal administrative burden, you are not required to submit an additional application to receive your ESSER, the second award. Within the next three days, you will receive a grant award notification, GAN, through the Federal Grants Management System, G5, which provides the ESSER, the second grant award, and details its terms and conditions. Although the ESSER the second uses of funds are similar to those for ESSER, there are important distinctions between the ESSER the second and ESSER programs, including the period of funds availability, equitable services to non-public schools, maintenance of effort, and a report on efforts to measure and address learning loss. You should plan to use all remaining ESSER funds before making use of the ESSER the second funds, given the shorter remaining period of availability. Please consult the accompanying fact sheet to learn more about the ESSER the second program. Once again, I urge you to use the ESSER and ESSER the second funding to safely reopen all elementary and secondary schools as soon as possible, to restore and maintain high quality learning environments, and to take comprehensive action to mitigate the unprecedented learning loss that many of our most vulnerable students have endured. I know these have been extraordinarily challenging times for both educators and administrators, but we must rise to meet this challenge. Most of our children today would be far better off in school with in-person instruction. There is no excuse that so many of them are still locked out. Families and students, particularly our nation's most vulnerable, are depending on your leadership. We have enclosed a table that shows state allocations for the ESSER, the second fund. These allocations are based on the proportion of funds that each state received under Part A of Title I of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965 in fiscal year 2020. If you or your staff have questions, please reach out to us directly or submit questions to your state's ESSER program officer using your state OES email box, state.oes.ed.gov. Thank you for your continued leadership on behalf of students in your state. Sincerely, 
and closures Betsy Devos. So let's just, I'm gonna stop the share here. Okay, so, you know, the deal is that most people allow their children to fail, which I don't understand, letter grades F, and for African-American children, it's quite satisfactory across this nation. And that's quite unfortunate. But when I went to In-N-Out Burger today and I saw this old woman, she was white and she was older than me. She had 10, at least 10 children. And that was her family. She had adopted them and they were all black. Every one of them. And she was just white. And then she had her two children, her son and her daughter. And that was their family. And I said, well, are you running a halfway house or something? He said, oh, no, this is just our family. And this is what we do. And I'm going to tell you, it is what they do. Foster care is big business, especially with legislators. We in America need to understand that it is us that is the harvest. And we need to stop the harvest immediately. Not today. Yesterday. How is it that they continue to get payments? even after adoption. So, you know, this is just a way of life, a way of life that they have become accustomed to as we continue to be the harvest. I mean, they take our children and they make them nannies over their children. This is ridiculous because we can't see the benefit in the adoption, we can't see the benefit in, in you know, and the way of life, oh, they have a roof over their head. Yes, maybe they, their family, they'd be struggling, but maybe they learn how to be independent instead of waiting on the handout in America. The word is e purpose, you know, out of many, there's one, and I was so pissed. Did everything I could do to not go over there and challenge the situation as those children were and probably came from bad situations with their families, but get real. When you don't teach people how to nurture their own, then they have no, nothing to give to them. And you know, they have nothing to give to them simply because have too many generations of kids in the foster care system here. And that's just real. The word is e purpose. You know, many, there's one. Catch my podcast on Anchor and wake the hell up in 2022. Y'all have a great day. And like I said, kinship doesn't afford you the same ability to harvest the African American children. Black people don't walk around with tons of their children who have been removed. No, that's white people because they get the benefit. Don't you get it? <laughs>